there was something on his back. I, I might uh, change it to match my the Instagram. Pool, guys. Okay. What's your Instagram? And my act my my Insta is Yvonne yeah, Jones. I think it's Yvonne on air or something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, or some other it's another yeah. new book. Believe it or not, she. It's also my Facebook air. page too, because I have a <laughs> Facebook page too, and it's Yvonne on air. I do not know that. It's attached to my. It was. It's my photography page, but I changed it because I don't. I use it for photography, but I use it for everything else too. Like anything that goes on Instagram goes on there automatically. I wonder which one that would have been. I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> Well, yeah. if you ever need any help, you find something where you get stuck and well, give me an up, give me okay. let me know. I might be able to help yeah. you out some. Right, thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. Y'all looking good. Looking like cozy. I know. I've got my suit on now. I'm like, my um, I did get into I will be a little back. bit of a I'm gonna take my dog outside. Ripped up in my okay. pants here, but not I know bad. I see that. I was uh <laughs> I died to I had to climb over a barbed wire fence to get into church today. <laughs> That's funny, bro. <laughs> I need to find a suit skin. I think I hey, look Mike. like a streetwear. Oh, yes. Right Come here. Oh, we have oh, a second? Get, oh, yes. Hey, we have the same pants, huh? All right. What's, what's, the, what's the flow? Like we do have the same pants. The flow right yes, now. we do. Um, <laughs> Obviously. I don't know if I have those pants. Do those shoes. Oh, totally. Then, yes, um, exactly. <laughs> I don't know who the person is that's going. We need to ask you. You know what I'm saying? At least I have a mullet in real life. Like a mullet. I think there's a mullet hairstyle in the game. Or if there is, I think there's a mullet hairstyle in the game. Or if there is, I think there's a mullet hairstyle in the game. Or if there is, I think there's a mullet hairstyle in the game. I have a feeling they're coming out. All right. Do you want somebody to come up? If they don't have it already, they'll come out with it. Uh, yeah, you want to, who, okay, anybody you want to ask? Or, I'll uh, just, I'll, when I finish the announcements, I'll say which guy's going to come up and lead us in worship, and then after that, I would like to bring up the soldiers. And then my deal will be in force. Sounds good. All right, let me go ask the soldier. All right, we're almost ready. Almost ready. Okay. Good soldier. Hi. Hi. Do you mind if, um, if I say you're going to come up after and to open up in prayer? You guys got to sure. come by and say hi to Twitch. Um, hi, Twitch. Right. We'll be getting started in just a little bit. Hey, Twitch. Hey, Twitch. Hey, Twitch. Hey, Twitch. Twitch. That's not oh, Twitch. Twitch. That's Pat that's the Explorer. Twitch. Um, <laughs> Twitchers. Oh, so, Demo. That's. Oh, and I'm Jason's gonna go here. Park him and his little park. This is spot. my stepmom. <laughs> that is so neat. These screens are going to be for the song. Are these screens for the song, then? I don't know. Okay. I, I definitely am not controlling them. And oh. Garrett told me that y'all don't have them yet. So, I mean, I'm, I don't remember seeing them last week, though. Oh, they weren't. No, Garrett just did those. Oh, okay. Interesting. And you go by Sky, yeah. right? Yeah. You go by Sky. Yeah, you can call me Jack. My real name is Jack. I'm Jack. Okay. Do you want to go to by change Jack? It. Do you want to go by Jack? Jack? Either I'll respond to that. So I might respond I to prefer my too. I would prefer Hey <laughs> What's up? What's up buddy? <laughs> Are you gonna get dizzy again? No, I'm try I'm gonna sit and not move much. <laughs> I'm gonna sit by you, Twitch. Colin, Colin is here. It. That's Colin right look, look. I know. Oh. Right there. That's what are they, what are they gonna <laughs> hey, it. Got oh, Jack Colin. Is Garrett yeah. guy who's hey, doing Colin. Like, um no way. Hey. Stuff in oh, here. Yeah. Nice what are they, what are they gonna project? This is uh, uh my I had him on YouTube too. Same with uh, oh, Jason and Dean is up there uh, admiring uh -oh. all my new gadgets. I oh, am. Hey, I'm grab like... the Bible. Grab the Bible. Get your name on it when you grab it. Nice. Nice. Okay. And then when I grab it, my name gets on it. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> yep. Now put your hand on that yeah, right that red side, square. That'll blank the screen back out for you. Just put a script oh. up. There you go. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it worked. You, yeah, did it work? Hit, yeah, the, one of them script just came up there. <laughs> oh my you goodness! Can, you can oh, clear it by clicking. The, yeah. All right. The, uh, screen. All right. Okay. Welcome everybody to Living Hope VR Bible Church. We are so glad that you're here with us today. Um, we have a great service coming by Mikey, Meta Mikey, uh, today. But before that, we have some announcements, and we also have some live worship coming up. So. Just want to give you a little um, some announcements if this is your first time here up in the sky we have our facebook groups 
Um, so you can either take a picture of that or just search on Facebook and you'll be able to find us there. You'll get all the events that go on throughout the week because we have lots of events going out throughout, throughout the week and you'll get notified of those on the Facebook group. So that's something important to, um, to subscribe to. Monday night, we have women's and men's gatherings. So those start at eight o'clock. So the women's meet um, at eight o'clock Eastern at the women's gathering. And that's um, hosted by me. And Texas Paps hosts the men's group at Killer Bee Studios at eight o'clock. So again, that's on Mondays, eight o'clock Eastern. So um, be sure to, to check those out. Tuesday, we usually have LEP, but he is on vacation. So no Tuesday night studies this week. We have Killer Bee Studios on Thursdays every night. We're affiliated with Killer Bee Studios and they always have something going on at 8 p.m. Eastern. Again, that's uh, KBS, you can just type in KBS. And Saturday nights, Mikey is in the Book of Acts. We are going through Acts chapter eight right now. That's 9 p.m. Eastern on Saturdays. So we just went through the chapter and we're gonna like dive in more deep next week, right Mikey? Perfect, okay. So that's Acts chapter eight. Again, if there's any questions about what I just said, you can always go out this side door when service is over, look at all the events, they're all out there. The times are also available. So you can just come in here anytime you wanna know what's going on, go over there and you can click on something and go to that world. So I think that covers everything for this week. So moving forward, we are going to have Sky come and do our worship, live worship today. And then after that, um, Good Soldier, would you come up and pray us into service? And then Mikey will come up to speak for us. Thank you, Good Soldier. Or yeah, um, Sky, you're already up here, right? Yes, there you are. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Can everybody hear me all right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just want to say thank you, first of all. This is, um, my second time being in a service and i i will say that i was very much blessed last week by um what was spoken and so i hope this week is just as impactful as as it was to me for each and every one of you so let's 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 just open up with the time of worship jesus we thank you for this time god i thank you for for god who you are i thank you that there's no boundaries jesus to 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 you and your presence father god i pray that each and every one of our hearts be humbled before you today, and, and God, that you you help and, and that you bring peace to each and every one of our lives, Jesus. We lift up your name in this place, God. All things have passed away. Your love has stayed. The same, your constant grace remains the cornerstone. You lift our weariness, you make us strong and stand. You took these right. Made us beautiful. And for all that you've done, we will pour out our love. This will be a random song. Jesus, we love you. Oh, how we love you. Is you are the word now, our hearts adore. The hopeless I found their hope. The orphans now have a home. All that was lost has found its place in you. 
You lift our weariness. You make us strong. Instead, you took these rhymes and made us beautiful. And for all that you've done, we will pour out our love. This will be our anthem song. Jesus, we love you. Oh, how we love you. You are the one our hearts adore. Jesus, we love you. Oh, how we love you. You are the one our hearts adore. Our hearts adore. Our hearts adore. Our affection, our devotion, poured out on the feet of Jesus. Our affection, our devotion, poured out on the feet of Jesus. Our affection. Our devotion, pour it out on the feet of Jesus. Our affection, our devotion, we pour it out, we pour it out, we pour it in, pour it in our affection, our devotion, we pour it out on the Feet of Jesus, our affection, our devotion. We pour it out on the feet of Jesus. We love you. Oh, how we love you, Jesus. You are the one our hearts adore Jesus, Jesus, we love you. Oh, how we love you. You are the one our hearts adore. Jesus, we love you. Oh, how we love you. You are the one our hearts Sing the sound if you know it. In Jesus Christ, Savior of my life, and I can falling in love with you. In Jesus Christ, Savior of my life, and I can help falling in love with you, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Savior of my life, and I can help falling in love with you. Take my hand, take my hand, take my whole life too. 
and I can help falling in love with you. Take my hand and take my hand. Take my whole life to night and falling in love with you. Jesus, we come to you in this place, Father, and we lift up your name. Father, we thank you that we can feel your presence, and it doesn't matter where we are, God. It doesn't matter what we've done. You desire to have a relationship with each and every one of us, God. Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit come. I pray that it speaks to each and every one of us. God, I pray as, as we hear, God, this sermon that, that, that you've spoken, God, that we have our hearts ready and prepared for what you're going to speak to each and every one of us in this room, Jesus. We love you and we thank you, Father. And I pray all these things in your beautiful, holy name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sky. That was that was awesome. Amen. And I and I love your taste in clothing. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> As we get ready for our service, let us pray. Lord, we ask you to open our hearts to receive the words that our pastor says to us. We ask these words to penetrate our hearts, Lord, and to change our lives. We ask you, Lord, don't look for other people to send. Lord, send us. We want to serve you. What an honor it is to serve you, Lord. What an honor it is to pray. Just know that our words are being heard in your throne room, Lord. Thank you for all the blessings that are in our life. We thank you for what your son did for us on the cross. We thank you so much for the fact that we have eternal life. Lord, thank you so much. We just ask you, Lord, just to be here with us during this church service. In Jesus Christ's precious name, amen. 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 So amen. You can grab the book and then pull the trigger and it'll open it so you can read it. Oh, okay, thanks. Wow. Wow. I'll tell you what, there is nothing like some live worship to help just posture our hearts into uh, his presence and into uh, uh, an attitude of worship. And and, and, um, and we welcome that in this church. If anybody happens to have, the, have a gift they want to play and sing like uh, a worship song in here, and you might wonder... Uh, any technical questions or anything come see one of us we'll be happy to help you out and um and see if we get a time slot for you we just but we just uh this time of worship and word today is just uh just that much better because of some nice some good uh worship like that so thank you very much for that um so um I was going to, you know, just this, uh, here at the church on Sunday like this, we're here once again. And um, and we praise the Lord for even being able to be in a place like this together. This is a, it's amazing for us to be able to come together like this with all these different people that we haven't met before. And um, making these relationships all the time. But now, if you make it to church somewhere regularly on a regular basis will praise mm. god because that is a that is the grace of god letting us in and letting, bringing us in and drawing us in to a church and to a to a body of believers somewhere i believe it's never an accident whenever you end up in the house of the lord um and and that goes that goes in many different aspects like for instance my wife's been on a mission trip for two weeks I've been playing Mr. Mom for two weeks. I've been got the kids I'm running around and doing the work, the business that I do and the kids. And um, and I didn't feel like going to my church today, the home church here in Marietta, Ohio. And um, but I just felt the Lord urging me to go and I, I didn't feel like it. But I 
I felt the Lord urge me to go, and I was really, really blessed today. The word was just amazing, um, and and the and the impact that the 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 worship time and the and the altar call time at the end and everything was just amazing. So, um, the Lord is orchestrating our meetings and our gettings together wherever they may be. But I was doing some research, uh, read a recent poll that found that only 44% of professing Christians actually attend church regularly. Now that's that's a shame. Now that's a shame because we are the body of Christ. And uh and and just like the apostle Paul pointed out in 1 Corinthians 12, we are many members but one church body. So each and every one of us in here are a crucial part to the body of Christ. And even the ones that are dislocated right now are the ones that have found themselves in some kind of life circumstance where they, they don't make it or they've they've they felt that they don't have the time, they don't feel it's worth it, or whatever has happened. We are all body all members of one body. And and I would just like to make an encouragement today. If any of you know anybody that's disconnected um today's message will help us a little bit here later on show you how to, different ways to help people get connected but going back to what paul was talking about oh and i want to sp send out a special thanks to garrett sky today because he helped us get this uh these screens up here and i've got some of the scriptures here and i'm going to be uh using them when i get to the ones that i have on the screen so and they've even gave me this bible here that i can use um I've got my notes in front of me, so I might need to learn how to use it a little better. But the, um, whoop, oh, there's something. What's this? <laughs> nice big column the, uh, of concrete. Technical, te technical difficulties. Okay. Uh, this is a nice concrete column here. So we won't be needing it today, so let's put it back up. There we go. <laughs> well, anyway, I do have this pointer, and I'm able to put up some of the scriptures as we go, as we're testing out this new this new uh, setup and this is wonderful moving forward we love growth but getting back to what we're talking about we are the body each and every one of us are individual body members of the body of christ and we're all important and when we look at what paul says he he uh you know in first Corinthians, second corinthians 12 13 he says for by one spirit we were all baptized into one body whether jews greeks slaves free doesn't matter. We were all made to drink of one spirit. That's Second Corinthians 2.13. Well, the Apostle Paul goes on, and this was a lot of uh, scripture here. I, uh, this is a little, uh, we didn't put that on the screen because it was a big, long uh, batch of verses. But the Apostle Paul goes on to talk about how each and every member of the church body is important. That's you. That's me. That's even those the ones I was talking about earlier that don't even come to church, they're important. We're all, uh, we're all part of the body of Christ. He even goes on and compares us to the natural body, like eyes and ears and feet. He points out how each and every one of us, even if we don't think we're important, we are important. No matter what, no matter what our gifts are, no matter what our callings are, or our abilities are, um, I even had... <laughs> I even had a pastor one time. He used to always make this joke, so I suppose I'll pass it along because it was funny the first 50 times. He said, "He said, you know, you're all important, even if you, even if your job is to clean first, second, and third John." <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and read the rest of a of here a little bit more from First Corinthians 12:14 through 27, what to to help you guys understand and get the full feeling of what he was saying here. Um, of course, he was talking about spiritual gifts leading up to this and how, you know, different people were starting. I think different people were starting to feel like their gifts more important than the other and such. And and that's a topic for a different day with the gifts. But in, in 1 Corinthians 12, 14 through 27, here's what it says. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot says, because I'm not a hand, I'm not a part of the body. Is it for this reason any less a part of the body? And if the ear says, because I'm not an eye, I'm not a part of the body, is it not for th this reason any less a part of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing be? If the whole were hearing, where would the sense of smell be? But now God has placed the members, each one of them in the body, just as he desired. 
if they were all one member, where would the body be? And I'm up to verse 20 now. I'm still reading from the scripture. But now there are many members, but one body. You get that? What's all of us? That's all of us. Verse 20, there are many members, but one body. And I'm going to go on for a few more verses. And the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you. Or again, the head to the feet, I have no need of you. On the contrary, it is much truer that the members of the body, which seem to be weaker, are necessary. And those members of the body, which we deem less honorable, on these we bestow more abundant honor, and our less presentable members become much more presentable. Whereas, I guess that would be the people that, that clean first, second, and third John. I don't know. <laughs> our less honorable members become more presentable. But verse 24 Whereas our more presentable members have no need of it, but God has composed the body, giving more abundant honor to the member which lacked. To, uh, three more verses here. So that there may be no division in the body, but that it, the members may have the same care for one another. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. Or if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. And this is the last verse. 1 Corinthians 12, 27. Now you are Christ's body and individually members of it. So that is, don't lose sight of that. You might want to go back and read that and meditate on that as how important each and every one of us are in the body of Christ. Just look what happened today. We, we had somebody come in to bless us with worship. And, and that's something that doesn't happen very often. And it's just amazing. It's just amazing to have these different parts of the body working together. And um, and it's just a, it's just another piece of the of the body coming together for a service like this. And you can see how it just how the Lord works in that so mightily. So there it is. Not a single one of us are so important that we don't need the others. Now that's for sure. There's not a one of us in here that are so important that we don't need the other body parts. And and not a single one of us are so less important that we are not an important part of the body. So God divinely orchestrates us into perfect harmony when we stop getting all wrapped up in, in titles and who's who and who has such and such a stronger gift, etc. That doesn't matter. It's all God. It's all Christ. It's all the Holy Spirit working through us as a body there is a, the second we start looking at well this this here is more esteemed than that and this person's more esteemed than them that's where we start veering off course and that's where we get into dangerous territory of where it, you know we can end up in a bad place we would want to ask god for grace in that situation okay so now back to that statistic that i was talking about if that number of only 44% uh, of professing Christians attending church is anywhere near right. That means that somewhere around 56% of the body of Christ is disconnected. Just think of all that we could be missing right now. And we might not even realize it because we're just so used to it being this way. We need to, part of our mission field and part of our work in our, in our friends group and our spheres of influence, the people that we that we know and, and we, we talk to and different places we go, we need to be aware that the, the and be, have our ear for the Spirit of the Lord to be able to help encourage people to church, people that are believers that might not even, they might be not going to church. But now to be clear, this is, this is the kind of the serious part of this. One of the missions of the enemy, the enemy of our souls that is, is to get us isolated you know, with the hopes of tearing us down in one way or another, or just keeping us for, from fulfilling the Great Commission, which is the whole reason that we're even here in the earth anyway. When we become born again, we become born from above. We become seated in heavenly places with Christ. And that at that point, the, our existence here on earth, we are here, we raise up godly a seed, godly families and, and, and everything. But the fulfilling the Great Commission is all the overarching part of that. But the enemy would try to isolate people, and you can see where you can probably look around and think of some places where that's happened, try to isolate people to stop them from fulfilling their gifts and callings, and also to keep them away from the body where they would fit in and be able to operate. Um, now, 1 Peter 5.8 says, Be of sober spirit, 
Be on the alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Um, and so there, this is serious business, too, when it, from a spiritual warfare standpoint. Um, and if that weren't enough, um, here we can use our first scripture for putting it up on the ceiling here. So if that weren't enough, he up. Oh, it did you can, it. You can grab the book and then push oh. this and it'll open it. Oh, up. looky there. Okay. How about that? That's awesome. Whoop. No. Nope. We'll just put this over here. Now, I, I do have my notes in front of me. That's awesome, though. The, the Bible, um, you can open it up and all that and look at it. That's great. Okay. So I hold the Bible and I push this and then I look at it. I'm going to have to do a little, little practice on that later. But I have my notes in front of me. This is great. I love these new tools. Um, but in this line of serious business, talking about how how this this warfare is going on to try to to war against our very the things that we would do you got to remember that uh satan even tries to deceive us by trying to look good and first second corinthians eleven fourteen. no wonder for even satan disguises himself as an angel of light now i'm not trying to i'm not trying to scare anybody in here today but i'm just trying to shine light on or what we would call expose some of the where the warfare that's going on working against us here so we can be aware you know and the good news we have good news too let's look at first john 4 4. Uh, the, uh, like the first half is half of it's up there but the second half might not be uh first john 4 4 you are from god little children and have overcame them because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Praise God. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. We have the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead and living inside of us. And that's amazing. That power is in us and that's the power to keep us. And, and if we do mess up, okay, and that's the thing. That's another thing that the enemy tries to do. He tries to use condemnation. He tries to use accusation to knock us down and to get us off of moving forward and marching forward as a soldier for Christ. Uh, if we do mess up or if we get tripped up in one way or another, uh, and don't ever forget about 1 John 1.9. 1 John 1.9 has been called the Christian's bar of soap. Uh, you know, that's what some people have called it. But uh, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's a promise. That's a promise from God. That's a promise from the Bible to you. So don't let uh, don't let yourself feel like you've just done something. Wow, you come up. There's no moving on for me now. That's that's just another lie from the enemy. And furthermore, if that wasn't enough for you, let's see here. I'll put this up. First John two one. My little children. I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. And then if, if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. That's 1 John 2, 1. We have that advocate with the Father. Jesus Christ is, is making intercession for us. He is our advocate. He is the one that's working for us and working with us. He did the work. He paid the price for us. And if I go on to the next verse, which isn't up there, uh, 1 John 2, 2, and he himself, Jesus Christ, is the propitiation for our sins. And not only for ours only, but for those of the whole world. Jesus Christ is the propitiation for our sins. So if you're worried about your sins and things that, and you've repented, and you want to do, you feel like you want to do the things of God, but you, you're living in some kind of condemnation. Well, I, you know, I got this wrong. I got that wrong. Remember, just confess your sins. Jesus Christ is the propitiation for him. And that propitiation, that sounds like a, a big, big word. But the per, word propitiate means to satisfy the wrath of God against sin. That's what Jesus did for us. He satisfied the wrath of God against sin. And a matter of fact, he's not just the propitiator. He is the propitiation. He is the Lamb of God. He is the one that satisfied the justice of God. And, and, and don't let yourself be deceived either. If you're in here and you're wondering what is, 
whether you don't know much about salvation and what it is to come to Christ and to be born again, we would be happy to talk with you afterwards. Come to one of us, uh, me or Texas Paps or some a good soldier, Dean, or if we can all get to whoever, we can direct you in the right direction. Um, but our righteousness, the righteousness we're born with, see, is from the fall of Adam, way back from the garden. Our righteousness is as filthy rags, the scripture says. There is no way. You can think of the best most well-behaved, honorable person in the whole world that you've ever seen or heard of, and their righteousness is as filthy rags to God. And um, if you want to know what them filthy rags are really uh, talking about, you might want to look that up on your own time, because that's not a pretty sight. We are just not able to live up to God's righteousness. That's why Jesus Christ came and died for us, a perfect sinless sacrifice that we would be able to take the, our sins would be covered, and he would be able to cover our sins. So, back to the body parts. Let's let's go get those disconnected body parts. Those people that we might know or see around. And one of the new ways that we might be able to do that would be with this this the virtual world here. We have the ability now. You can push your left uh, controller menu button on your left thumb. And you can see uh, the like and save the world. And then right beside it is a share button. And when you hit that share button, you have the ability to go to Facebook uh, or Messenger and um, or MetaQuest app. Or you can just copy the link. And that, that link that you copy there in your left Oculus button, that will copy it to your Oculus or headset clipboard. Therefore, you can go over to your Oculus browser and send the world to say, say you wanted to invite somebody to church, somebody that hadn't been to church for a long time. You can copy that link or whatever way you want to get a hold of that. And you can start leading people that don't even have a headset that they might be interested in coming. It's just another tool in our tool belt to be able to get people into the, into the, and back into church, back into fellowship, back into the, 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 the court of the Lord, you know? So, uh, and, and you see, we can all make an impact. And I do know this, that God is not limited in any way by what you have on hand. You know, he's, he's looking for faith in the earth. He's looking for a willing heart. So don't, you know, we don't want to let any of these, these things I've talked about that can come up as our hindrances be to rise up in our face. Um, I mean, there have been people who have made giant impacts, even from inside prison walls and even quadriplegics, you can see, you can find them on video, different things. So don't let anything that you think is, 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 a, is something that disqualifies you in any way from moving forward with what God would be calling you in your heart to do. Oh, boy. Okay. So let's see. Now, and for those of you are, that are here, we're winding down here. And for those of you who are here, you who name the name of Christ— you who are born again, that's born from above, and you feel that longing in your heart to help fulfill the great commission that Jesus gave us. Here's the easy part. Just trust him. Just cast down those doubts that the enemy would try to throw up in your face. Cast down those accusations that, that the enemy would try to use to say, well, you're not good enough, or God can't use you, or those are just lies, or, or none of us are good enough or none of us are, or that we're not qualified enough, or whatever. Because remember, we have plenty of promises in the Scripture. Here is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that is, just claim that Scripture. Anytime that you, you're feeling down and out, there's something you feel that you, you have an interest in the, from the Lord to do, claim that Scripture. He will give you the strength to do the things you're calling to do, no matter what your circumstance. Okay, but I do want to be clear. There's nothing special, and this is something I touched on earlier. There's nothing special about anyone that you see doing these different exploits in the kingdom of God or awesome things or whatever you want to call them. It's God. It's him. It's the Lord Jesus Christ in us, in them, in anybody you see. Just consider what the Apostle Paul said in Romans 7, 18. I'll put that up. If Christ is in you, though the body is dead, because oh, it's the wrong one. For I know there is nothing good dwells in me 
that is in my flesh, for the willing is present in me, but the doing good is not. See, even the Apostle Paul knew that it's God that does these things. It's God that works through us. He knew that our body, our flesh that's 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 come from corruption has these 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 limitations, these tendencies to try to not, you know, the flesh is well, uh, the, the spirit is willing and the flesh is weak and all that. Uh, but 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 praise God for him showing us. Let me turn the screen off. Praise God for him showing us Romans 8, 10 and 11. Romans 8, 10 and 11 reads, If Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, yet the spirit is alive because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Wow. Well, I um, I was... In closing today, um, I was reminded of that that casting clown, uh, casting crown song. I was playing it through my bot here at the beginning of service. Uh, if we are the body, um, I'm not going to play it, but uh, but I I just I don't know what it is about these songs and these and these titles. But uh, a couple of weeks ago, I got my title from a song that got stuck in my head, and this week. I was I put the message together and got about two thirds the way through it, and then I got the title from that song coming and you know, stuck in my head. But it's the it's a good song, you know. If it, and I just a little bit from that song, it says, "But if we are the body," and that song they say, "Why aren't his arms reaching? Why aren't his hands healing? Why aren't his words teaching? And if we are the body, why aren't his feet going? Why is his love not showing them there is a way? There is a way." So uh, today, as we close and say our closing prayer together, I'm going to, uh, we'll get in the, kind of in the middle here and kind of cluster around in the middle aisle and we'll say a prayer today. We're going to pray a prayer over each and every one of us that we would, that we would be renewed and refreshed in our uh, working forth and in, in, in God's plan and different things and reaching out in our calling. And also, if anybody has any prayer requests, uh, you can raise your hand at this time, and we will be happy to include that in our finishing prayer today. So I'm going to, we'll all kind of get in the middle. I'm going to stay on my my little uh, global area here, and we can all just crowd around. I'm going to grab my notepad in case anybody set, uh, prays, needs me to pray something. I don't want to forget anybody's uh, thing. I'll get my notepad opened up. Didn't come prepared too good today for that. Okay, I'll turn pad around a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay. Are there any prayer requests today? Anywhere in the audience? Uh, oh, yes. Bob, uh, Bob Purple. You are not. Um, for my brother. Okay. All righty. We will pray for your brother. Anything in particular? Or just uh, praying blessing over him? Or? Um, just. I don't know. Just. Spiritual growth or, or, or closeness to God or, or something wrong? Has he got a, any kind of sickness or anything? Or just yeah, close to God and just break the the addiction. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Very good. We will definitely do that. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else today? Garrett. Yes, sir. Yeah, just uh, future job opportunities. Still going along with that one. All right. Yes. God is our provider. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. And he is faithful. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anywhere else? Okay. I have one more. Oh, yes, sir. Can you pray for me for boldness? Oh, for and... sure. Yeah, me yeah. too. I, I'm, I, I, yes, I get that. <laughs> okay, all right. So we got some boldness. We are all need to pray for boldness. That's awesome. Is that is that all you want to say at that point? All right. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Amen. I think that boldness. I don't know. We're we're not just gonna pray that for Bob and uh, Garrett. That's gonna be for all of us here. That's great. I love, I love uh, reaching out for for different things that strike a chord in the spirit like that. Okay. Well, Father, we come to you in Jesus' name, and we just thank you for this 
wonderful get together today. We thank you for your spirit being in the midst of us. We thank you for orchestrating this service today. We give you all the glory. It's not by our power or by our might, but by your spirit that anything, anything good is possible. And Father, we thank you. And we just lift up these different prayer requests today with with Bob and uh, Garrett and each and every one of us additionally, Father. We ask you, please, to give us the boldness to move out into our gifts and calls that you have placed upon us. Give us the boldness to be able to speak to those who need spoken to. Give us the boldness to be able to to pray the prayers even to you. Help us to understand how you love us. You're a loving Father, and you want an intimate relationship, and we are able to talk to you about anything. And you have given us uh, directions in your word to be able to speak bold things. So, Father, every area that, even ones that might not even be understood by me right now, Father, we ask for boldness. It's by your spirit. So we ask for boldness to come upon each and every one of us. And for Bob's brother, Father, we ask you to draw him closer and close to Jesus, Father. Draw him in such a way that he would be able to get see who he really is and see who you have really called him to be and, and that you have called him to as a beloved son to come into the kingdom and any kind of addiction or any kind of things that would weigh him down, Father, we ask you to set him free. We thank you that whom the son sets mm -hmm. free is free indeed. And I thank you, Lord, for setting each and every one of us who have came in to your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for setting each and one of every one of us free from being slaves to sin and causing us to be slaves to righteousness, Father. We thank you for that. And and for, for Garrett with this job search, Father, we thank you for providing for your children. We thank you that you, you own the cattle on a thousand hills and that you have, you've, put all throughout your scripture of places and different ways and different ways that to demonstrate your love and provision for your children. And Father, we just ask you, if it be any, if it be your will, Father, sooner rather than later, bring the best job opportunity to Garrett in Jesus' name. And as we leave here today, Father, we ask you to let these this word just resound in our hearts and go forth, helping to restore your body. Help us to understand artful, craftful ways, each and every one of us that you have given all these different uh, hobbies and interests and uh, arts, art forms to, Father. We ask you to show us ways to use them to help restore your body and to reach out to the unsaved as well. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. Well, thank you all for coming out today. This is... It's been a good day in the virtual house of the Lord today. And um, and if anybody, like I said, has any questions or any uh, personal uh, prayers, they want to just come to me, come to Good Soldier. Good text Paps was on mobile. I'm not sure if he's there. I think he might still be now. He might be able to talk no, I'm, with I'm us. here. Oh, he's here in VR. So, and we've am got I, Diener and we, you're a little bit I'm, Yeah, I, 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 I'm not, uh, what's it called? I'm on potato right now, as far as I can see. But you've got er, 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 er. So maybe you're having a um, maybe your <laughs> Oculus is going through a bunch of updates yeah. at the same time there that it's trying to uh, communicate here. He's in, in the, the robot. Order. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> we oh now well, there was robot a there was, <laughs> it's starting to get robot a little better I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, always something. There's oh, always dance. something in this digital world to to tinker with. But we have plenty of us around, so feel free come on up and and ask us. So <clears throat> God bless everybody. And have a good, yeah, good have week. A great week. Mm -hmm. All right. <sighs> Thank you, Mikey. It was wonderful. Oh, great job. I Thank did you. like it. Thank you. I can't hear you, Colin. I'm going to go in there. <laughs> hey. Uh, great. Bye. 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 Great. B